Welcome to the team. I'm going to scream. Ah! I watched the first four episodes of this series, and I got to tell you, the series felt funny, lighthearted, warm. You're no stranger, of course, to animated shows. What to you, I guess, felt different or exciting about this? The comedy uh, of the Great North is is so unique. Uh, the the voice is just so very special, and I think as a comedian, you're you're always looking for something that's surprising and that isn't reiterative. That that really sort of takes a new space, and um, and so. I think our show really does that, and and as you said, it's also it's really warm um, for a show that takes place in Alaska. Um, <laughs> it's really warm, and I know I am I am looking for that in the entertainment that I watch these days. Is mm -hmm. I, I just want something that is going to make me feel um, good in a way that feels real. The show is getting a, a, some comparisons to Bob's Burgers, which you were also a part of. Because of the success of that series, do you feel an added pressure on this show? I think that, you know, I, I hold Bob's Burgers in very high regard. Um, I think a lot of people do. Yeah, it's one of the, the funniest animated shows ever, ever, ever. So I guess, you know, it does kind of make me want to bring my A game, of course. Um, and it also makes me feel really, really grateful to be chosen to be in this project because um, they've already worked with me before. The first few episodes are available to stream now, but it's officially out, I guess, on February 14th. Mm -hmm. What is your message to people going into the show for the first time? Oh, let us be your Valentine. <laughs> <laughs> That's cute. That's precious. <laughs> there's so much to love on our show. And there's so many funny examples of like very specific um, connections with the romance, whether it's Wolf and Honeybee, who are an engaged couple played by w Will Forte and Dulce Sloan. They're movie buffs and their love is like very specific, a, a little bit dorky and like completely committed. Or my character, Judy, who's a 16 year old girl who is in love with Crispin, who's the slightly older boy who works at Smoothie Boss in the mall. I am a true romantic, so it's, it's first of all, like very, very nice to have our, our show coming out on Valentine's Day. Um, it's, a, it's sort of a, a just like, mm, makes me feel cozy. You guys also, of course, have Nick Offerman, Megan Mullally, and my personal favorite, Alanis Morissette. What was it like to have her be part of this? Um, to get to even be in like the same state as Alanis Morissette is a real dream come true. Uh, she's someone who I have like specifically loved, you know, since she saved my spirit in my teen years. Um, and so I think like working with her is a true gift and it's also a, a constant, um, you know, effort to try to not geek out and be weird around her. And I don't really think that I, have achieved that but <laughs> did you geek oh, out around her <laughs> oh yeah i mean i like definitely was like can we take a selfie you know like <laughs> to ask for the selfie and i would have done the same thing and i sat next to her at our first table read and like could just feel the like the clamminess and like just like so do i look over and say like hey <laughs> like did you drive <laughs> here like i you know like what just trying to be normal um, is hard, but I think, you know, it was okay. But don't <laughs> ask her, don't ask her. Don't be suspicious, don't be suspicious. Changing gears a little bit more, did you ever think that your don't be suspicious Parks and Rec scene would become the TikTok trend phenomenon that it has become? Like, it is not a joke when I say I'm not internet-y like I, I or even computery like I don't I don't know how to take a screenshot on my computer and I don't get what TikTok is um, oh and I haven't what? seen it but one of my friends was like do you know that this thing is happening yes uh, and I said no I don't and then I kind of tried to figure out 
how to, but I just can't. So I, but I'm very funny. Cool, right? It seems like a a good thing. And oh my gosh, and I love being on Parks and Rec, and I love playing Mona Lisa. So if people are still enjoying her, that makes me really happy. Do you ever see a world where Mona Lisa and John Ralphio have a spinoff series? I think Ben (laughs) said it would never happen, but yeah, I don't think you want as much as you think you want. You know, like I don't don't (laughs) want to go just that. Uh, I think those characters are wonderful in small doses. Although I will say I could play Mona Lisa all day um, because it's incredibly fun. 